Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17 and we are back. And we are back in New York City. I am beat from the travel. I'm actually very, very tired even though the flight was only four hours. Travel days are always tiring because you have to pack, you have to unpack, and I usually pack on the same day I'm traveling, a couple of hours before, and so it can be a lot. It can be a lot, it just can be a lot. And I'm excited to be back home with my family, my whole complete family. My boyfriend picked up my mom and I from the airport. He bought me like this beet salad, beet chicken avocado salad, it was so good. Then I had had a beets and ginger juice that was amazing sorry the phone is ringing if you can hear it I brought back chicken wings from Big Banana one of Antigua's famous pizzerias but they have good chicken wings and pizza is not for me the quality has went down loads over the past years so I brought back a nine couple of chicken wings for her to try she loved it it was great no 17 18 we have eight more days until Christmas eight more days till Christmas and let me tell you I am excited to see what New York can give me for this final days of Vlogmas. So I came back with two books today. This is called Antigua and Barbuda, A Little Bit of Paradise. This is supposed to be a big book. I have seen this book in many people's houses. I'm excited to see what's in this book. This book is was a gift. Two books we got. It's a pretty big, big book. It reads, Welcome to Paradise, History in the Making. Antigua was named after the statue of the miracle working virgin saint in the cathedral in Seville. Seville. Seville, the, Seville is also a place in Spain, actually, by Christopher Columbus in 1493. Well, Columbus, I don't know about that, but whatever. They miss me with Columbus, but let's read on. It's a tourism book, which I like. A message from the prime minister, because we have prime ministers in the Caribbean, not presidents. Message from the minister of tourism, because tourism is how Antigua really gets their money. Before, like many, many years ago, it used to be through agriculture, but that has slowed down over the years. Then they have a map of Antigua. It has facts and figures about Antigua. It has the national anthem song of Antigua, national heroes. Right now, currently, the prime minister of Antigua is Gaston Brown. The honorable Gaston Brown is the prime minister. Minister of tourism is the honorable Asat A. Michael. So the island of Antigua and Barbuda is estimated to be 170 square miles. It is a twin island because of the two names, so Antigua and Barbuda. They are situated in the Eastern Caribbean, so their currency is Eastern Caribbean EC in the Leeward Island chain. The population of Antigua is about 93,000. That's not a lot of people. New York has billions of people. The capital of Antigua is St. John's. That's where I'm from. The native language they speak is English and Antiguan Creole. Antiguan Creole, Patois. They even have like different festivities during the month. So let's say in January, there's the Yacht Club. In February is Black History Month. In March is the International Kite Festival. This book is just really a great tourism book. In 1981, November 1st was Antigua's Independence Day. That was a very monumental date. Oh, the national fruit of Antigua is the Antiguan black pineapple, which is really good. The national dish in Antigua is pepper pot and fungi. Some people would say ducana and sawfish, but I guess not. The national sea creature of Antigua is hawksbill turtle. The national animal of Antigua is the fallow bear. I mean, fallow deer. The national bird of Antigua is the magnificent frigid bird. The national flower of Antigua is the agave. So as you can see, they just have these nice vivid pictures of Antigua, of English Harbor, of Dockwood Beach. It's known for their beaches, for their tranquility. They have a lot of yachts here. There's a lot of Barbina's colonial past with the towers, the Martello Towers. I didn't take many pictures of that. Falmouth Harbor. When I was growing up too, going back and forth, I used to do a lot of things with clay. They used to make a lot of bowls, a lot of mortar and pestles. Carnival is huge there. 
t-shirt mass is huge. I don't even know what band this is. This is crazy. This picture captures a million things. Seal pan in the Caribbean. They, sailing is very, very big in Antigua. Sailing. Even like when I go play Pan American games and stuff, sailing is one of the sports, which is huge. It's a big deal. And I'm sure there's other books like this. So this book is basically a really good tourist book. And if you want a souvenir, this is a great book. It will give you fun facts about Antigua as well as real facts and like serious facts as well as just places to go. You can basically get your whole itinerary and book your flight to Antigua based off of this book because it has so much information. So kudos to my cousin's husband for giving us this book because this book is it. Number two, he gave us this book is called simplyantiguabarbuda.com. This one is also kind of heavy, lighter. Just flipping through, it's really easy. They have apps, a map app, which is cool. I probably would have wanted that because I wanted to know where I was going sometimes. Sometimes I just drive around the island and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going north. I'm, okay, I'm going towards something. Oh, this gotta wrap around. This actually shows you all the nice hotels and resorts. So it has Coco's in Antigua. It would have Tamburin Hills. Where is Tamburin Hills? I don't see Tamburin Hills. It has Sugar Ridge Resort. It has Hermitage Bay. It has Hermitage Heritage Hotel. It has, listen, it has St. James Club. Like this is it. All right, yeah, this is it. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. It has, I don't do yoga, but it has a rainforest zip lines the java walk the tours oh yeah the helicopter ride i'm digging this book it's really easy actually the foods i like this it's just showing you and again sharing these are great tourist books in the back here is the map too i'm from st john's those two books are great books so that you can know about the place a lot of times when you're traveling to a place you don't know where to go how to get there you use TripAdvisor. but if you are in antigua and you want to not use TripAdvisor because there's so much information get these great tourism books that can help you learn things and plan your itinerary merry christmas everyone this is the final days of christmas and i'm super super excited thank you so much for watching this video and you know the drill every day it's another video thanks for watching bye